Hey, what's up, YouTube? Joe Singleton here, Ben Norris, Naho Channel, and today I'm going to be talking about the Sonic Frontier trailer gameplay review. Well, well, review, review. I'll just call it rev game review. The point is, I saw the game game trailer for Sonic Frontier. I won't show the video because I don't want to get any copyright claims because I can't do it like other YouTubers do, like show myself and show a clip of how the game looks. But I can talk about what it, how it looks. Hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, for no one, it looks better than Sonic Unleashed, meaning it, the graphics are going up. They're putting more money into the graphics. Like, everyone keeps mentioning how Sonic Unleashed was the always definitive Sonic game that looked so good, but did, but then other games didn't look that much good, that, that good, even though the trailers and stuff make it look good, like uh, Sonic Colors, Generation, Lodge World, Frontier, well, I mean, not Frontier, but Forces. Those games had good trailers, but the games don't look that promising. Even though the trailers show, look like it's promising, I'm hoping they're using... The game engine I know they're using is Hedgehog 2, whereas I'm hoping they're using the Affinity engine. If you don't know what the Affinity engine is, it's another engine for the Sonic games. This is what some games like uh, Sonic Omens, if you ever saw that, is. It looked like Sonic Elise, but the team using Sonic Affinity and, or Affinity Plus, making the game look like... You can still use the boost formula, and you get to choose to use the boost formula or go in the adventure gameplay, which I'm hoping they're doing. Number two is open world. It looks like it's, it looks like they're going to the open world gameplay meeting. It, you know, if you don't know what open world is, it means you could you could do whatever you want. You're in an open world meeting. You're walking around. You could go wherever you want, and the world is so big you can just travel all around it. Travel. All around, like like it's no like no no one's business. It's hard to describe, but the point is, it's open world. You get to play play where other. I mean, you get to play in like a massive. It's like a city. It's like that. It's kind of like an open world city. Or or what I'm about to go into my next topic. It took a lot from Zelda Breath of Wild and Horizon. Many people from the leaks and stuff say that Sonic is going to take a lot from Breath of the Wild, but they didn't mention it took a whole lot from Horizon. Zero Dawn. There's even machines, a giant robot in, at the end of the trailer that show, that look like something out of Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, I'm hoping they go for more of this in future games. I'm hoping they do more for this for future games and use this a lot. Uh, number four, I heard the ghost... Ghost Girl. Meeting the Ghost Girl it was was true. In many Sonic leaks before Sonic Frontiers or what it was called Sonic Ranger came out, all the leaks mentioned about a Ghost Girl who was going to be the new new playable character with Sonic. Well, not playable, but help him in the game. Excuse me. Uh, playable in the game. It's going to be one of the characters who's going to be following Sonic. Hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, what was it? Yeah, the, the Ghost Girl is going to be with Sonic, going to be maybe a playable character or help him with his boost. Uh, it leads me to our next thing. In the Xbox Live in Sonic Front Frontier, the Ghost Girl is Amy, Amy Rose. It's not, it's not, it's just Xbox, the Xbox Live, when they did the sub subtext, they thought it was Amy Rose. It's not Amy Rose. And everyone who keep making, like, fan art and stuff about that is not Amy Rose. That is not her. She's not in the game. We don't even know if she's going to be in the game or Tails. It seems like it's just going to be Sonic himself, which could be a good thing. And a lot of people say, oh, man, I wish to play as the other characters. But I think it's a good thing. If Sega's going to do a soft reboot for this game, go with to play as Sonic again. Just Sonic, figure out his gameplay, maybe reintroduce new characters. We introduce new characters, old characters, and introduce new characters in the game. That's what I'm hoping this game will have. Number six is coming out holiday 2022. Like every Sonic game before it, it's all say it's going to keep doing the the holiday deadline. But next, it's going to be for next year. Meaning, it's going to be going out for holiday deadline. Meaning, they're going to put try to beat the holidays, and hopefully come out then. Number seven is is our. It's on all gaming consoles. It's going to be out on PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox, well, the Xbox Series, Nintendo Switch, P PC, you name it. It's going to be out on all consoles, and and you can play on your PC, you need on your computer. So, yeah. Number eight, Ian Flynn is writing for Sonic Frontiers. Now, 
I figured they were gonna do this, even though I do not like Ian Flynn. If you haven't seen my video, I miss it a lot. I do not like Ian Flynn's writing, but I'm hoping he's not by himself. Now, some people can say, wait a minute, why are you hating Ian Flynn? He's the great Sonic fan writer. Like I said before, Ian Flynn's writing is lazy sometimes. He comes up with good ideas, but he's lazy. I said this before, he's like the Brian Brian Bandis of, of Sonic comic books. He's Brian Bandis for the Sonic comic books. That's all I have to say. Now, I'm hoping he's not working by himself. I'm like, he's going to be the only writer. I'm hoping they get the other IDW writer, like even Stanley, maybe GG, or other writers to help out in the game. But <clears throat> who knows? Uh, the website is up. Uh, yeah, Sonic Frontiers has a website. Fans already speculated that it was going to be out and it came out after the trailer dropped. It looks cool. It's, ne it's connected to the original Sonic website. So it's so there's two Sonic websites from the, the the main one to the Sonic Frontier one. Yeah, this game will most likely save Sega and Sonic games. What I mean is Sega, Sega been doing bad for Sonic games ever since 06. They got a good with Unleashed. They had a good with Colors, Generation. Lost World was good. Many fans didn't like Lost World because it changed the formula, but it was actually good. <sighs> Boom killed Boom killed him and Sonic Forces killed him. I do not care what people say. Forces was not really that much of a good game. It had good elements, like a good storytelling could have been there, but the gameplay was too easy. The story felt like it was too too silly to not take itself seriously. And this game looked like it's doing one thing I hope it was doing. Sonic fans wanted to go back to going into Shonen Jump, meeting, have a Shonen style get storytelling, like uh, like Dragon Ball or One Piece, kind of, kind of like telling a story with a main character, going on adventures and doing something like be a hero, but more of a gray hero kind of thing. Uh, that's pretty much it. I usually don't do a lot of these videos, but since this was something new, next week I'm going to do Sonic Movie 2, uh, discussing about it. And go back to doing all what I was supposed to do with all my comic book stuff with the Sonic comic book. I know what this seems strange, but my channel is now going to be a it is a Sonic channel. I mean, I do talk on Naho, but this is a Sonic channel. So I was supposed, to, well, I was planning on talking about this since it came out, so I want to do it. Anyway, just give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, and please comment on my video. I know the thumbs down video. You can I can't see my thumb. Can't see you got you can't see your how many people dislike my video, but still I can see it. I still want you to tell me what, what I need to prove on my videos. Anyway, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, hit the bell to get notified for new videos. I am Joe Singleton, better known as Naho Channel. Signing out. Peace.